and uh, yeah, we've had about a few injuries. We've got Alimenza injured. Um, uh, the next two days will give us a look or uh, we'll make an assessment if he's available. We have um, Anele injured, no training. We had um, um, Kapinga injured, of course, uh, he's not playing. Um, we have um, other players been injured. I think we've been updating the injuries uh, of the team. But we've got Gales was injured, also out. Um, Nasi Mendo's got a niggling injury. Yeah, those are the, the players that we had um, who were out of because of injury. And then we had also players who could not train um, because they tested positive uh, for, for COVID-19. And we did not have them, we had to isolate them and they were not part of training. Yeah, and we had other guys who were just sick, you know, flu because it's the winter, it's winter space. It has nothing to do with COVID. And um, they came back. <coughs> yeah, and then we have um, Mauricio Stark also in, in Uruguay, Afonso. We are not able to get him. Um, we've got Tapelo still out injured. He's there, but we don't want to risk him. He can play, he's training with us, he's kicking, but uh, you know, uh, it's very important to have him w once and you don't want him to go out and break down and then you regret all, all the five, four months, five months that he's been gone through. So training in small groups, players, strange things, you know, players sitting there, the other ones, I think you see the images um, from our um, media department. Um, we have done only one video analysis. Uh, and also on the video analysis is also that uh, social distancing and you wait for a certain time because you can't be in a closed room. So we do it outside and you know, there's, there's a reflection of the sun and then you can have uh, the, the visuals proper. We wait for that space between five and six, that 45 to 50 minutes and then we, we go in there, we did it once. And you must also understand when you do it outside the school and players can get flu. So we did it once, the doctor said, cut it. You might get a lot of players with flu now. You, you got to understand how the football under COVID-19, how strange it is. We, we don't have team spirit in the camp because we, we're eating within two hours. This one pops in, eats, this one goes out. Sometimes you are alone in the dining hall and the, where are your colleagues that you always eat with, you know? Can't make nice groups when you pray before the training sessions. It's a lot of things. Uh, you can say I'm making, I'm saying a lot of excuses and I think you don't want to hear that. Maybe you just want to know if you are ready to play and I can answer that quickly. Okay. Wrong, wrong type of training. Uh, not knowing, thinking that we're starting on the 18th, 15th or 18th of July, if I'm not mistaken. And then we overloaded players and then we got some injuries and um, and then we thought maybe it's August 1st uh, which was suggested uh, uh, obviously not officially that um, we might play August 1st and uh, that date was just a date that was not a date um, that every collectively everybody was into it and then we changed again our focus from from the 15th to the 1st and back to now where we are, which is now the official date that we all know. So you got to understand that uh, we have prepared the team uh, wrong at the base, at the beginning, because we, we were preparing, uh, you know, quickly. That if, they, if the game starts in 10, 12 days, because of that time, uh, uh, or 14 days, because that time I think we got in a green light from the PSL to train on the 3rd or 2nd of, of July. And then we were rushing to say, okay, if the games happens on the 15th, because there was that date also from that was spoken about. <clears throat> so we loaded the players and then we had challenges, we had injuries. 
And then when when we heard that there's a possibility of playing in the first of August, then we changed the program again. And then there's no first of August. Then now is the official one, which is on Saturday. So you got to understand how you prepare the team. It's totally different, and you're getting different reactions from the body because uh, the body hasn't done nothing for the last three and a half months. So that has been yeah, a challenge. Thompson Bill Stadium. Um, yeah. Yeah, I've sent uh, my people there, the people who look after Torco fishes and all that. Uh, I told them their next office is, is no longer Torco, their next office is in Thompsonville Stadium. So they must be there 95 and help the ground men and make sure that the pitch is ready and uh, if it's in a proper condition because because you've been given a, a pitch, a, a venue to play at. And you can't be put, putting an excuse or parking the park on anybody else. So you know where you're playing. So you must look after the pitch. So I, I told them, I asked them, if you could, you know, put the lawn mowers and put the, the small, uh, uh, you know, you've got these trucks that cut the grass. If you could take everything to, to 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 Dalton View Stadium, you know, and you know the challenges. I can coach. We cannot leave the equipment in in the township because we are playing the township. You know, we're not playing in Ellis Park. We're not playing FNB. We're not playing. We're playing in the township. So we are. It's the draw. The draw said not go to the township. So we are there. So and there are challenges of of township. You know the story. I grew up in the township. There are, there, are, there are challenges in in that and that. You got to make sure that you if things are right. So, but I don't think the pitch is very bad because I got the images, uh, and Vets was playing there in the same place that we are playing. Uh, so we we should not complain a lot because Vets was playing there. So, but Vets was playing there before COVID. It's a different story after COVID because everything changes, you know. Ready. So it's for us to make sure we manage. The games we manage injuries, so you can't have, uh, you know the, you know I like to play the same team all the time. Uh, I don't think that thing will happen because I'm gonna get injuries if I do that, and um, it's gonna affect all the other games behind. Because if you do that for three games in a row, you're gonna have hamstrings, you're gonna have groins, you're gonna have all those things, and and it's gonna affect the next seven games that are that are behind. So be very careful of what you do. So. Number of games is not a problem for, for us and Vets because we have been doing that. Of course, uh, advantage for teams that are playing the league that I don't have the program that we have, they have an advantage. And also with less games than the league, so they have more rest, you know. So we are all re well rested teams uh, at this point in time. Or, or everything happens under the head or under the umbrella of a football within COVID-19. What you used to do before COVID-19 uh, uh, and it worked or whatever, it falls out because the program is different. Um, the body is totally different. The mind, I don't know about the mind because some players have, have different mentality about playing football under this space. I think you, you saw that uh, even other players in Europe uh, did not want to play. I mean, Conte, for example, uh, of Mazola's team, um, decided that he's not coming back until uh, everything is right and everything is almost ready. So you, there are players who are a little bit, you can see they might not want to talk, but, you know, I don't know how they react with other players at that time when they're supposed to mark men to men, you know, set-piece corner kicks and uh, mentally, you know, do you, the guy sweating and, uh, you know, players spit on the pitch or whatever, or sneeze or whatever, you know, how is my player going to react to, to, to this kind of uh, situation? That I can't, can't confirm. Everything under COVID, I can't confirm. Uh, what I can confirm is probably how do we think we can play or whatever. But the other things around COVID, the mental strength, of the game under COVID, I don't know. I want to see also, we, we will have an experience after this. Uh, uh, La Liga will tell you 
Premier League, English Premier League will tell you, Serie A will tell you, those who continue and finish the games, uh, we, we don't have. We will talk after. I think we can talk a little bit. Currently, um, preparing the team uh, for future because we, 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 because of the age 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 of, of of the most important players in the team, you know the the Kekanas, the Nascimentos, Denis Onyangos, uh, 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 the Villas, you know. Um, longer man, you know, we've got a lot of guys over 30, yeah? and when it's over 30, you're oh, not getting younger, and, and, and there's nobody over 30 whom his speed is, is getting, is improving, nobody. You are just declining, you know. If, I mean, you, you can't say also that you were as quick as you are when you were 19, 20, when you are 32. So, so that's, the, that's, the, that's the challenge we have. At Mamilo de Sundowns, you know, and these guys have won so many trophies uh, with me, and and they're important for the team. But what are you gonna do when you can't deny you can't work against time? When time is is, is there, is there. So we're trying to 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 tap our resources at the MDC so that we bring up the players, and uh, and we have done that before. We've got Percy, we've got Madisha, we've got. Kulisi, we've got um, Abraham, the goalkeeper, we've got Nicole Kuveni, we've got um, uh, um, Keleto, um, we've got, now we've got the two young stars, Promise and, uh, and, uh, and uh, uh, Mudise, which is uh, Bale, we call him Bale. Um, um, yeah, we've got about nine of those boys who are coming up and um, and also, it's important to give uh, um, to give uh, pro, um, confidence to the youth to say you will you will play in in, uh, in the senior team from from the MDC. We put Madisha. We put. Uh, I mean, uh, Gulis was in the starting lineup in the cup final. So those those are the issues that we need to 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 show that we we believe in our youth. Our MDC team is giving us about nine players. And I think now, as we are on the squad, on the bubble, we have those eight players uh, and that. And then also, uh, of course, is to make sure that even those we buy, we, we, we buy or we, so we outsource them from, from other teams, um, we make sure that uh, we need to be very careful with the age, okay? And then you, maybe you might want to ask me, what about Josh Marleta, who's 30? Yeah, special talent, special position. Uh, it does happen that uh, you can have sign a 30-year-old, but the rest of the players that you, we have and those we will announce later, the age group is below 25. So Kapinga, all those boys. So yeah, that's the future. Trying to change the team slowly. The younger ones must learn from the senior team whilst the senior players are playing. We introduce them slowly and they gel with time, like Madisha took over from Tabon Tete. Uh, uh, Pesci took over uh, when Leo left. Pesci Tau was, was there and he, he sustained it after Keegan left, Pesci left, I mean, Kama left. So we're going slowly and we're doing it very, very nice. Yeah, you to look after the future of the club. I guess it's for everybody, you know, in the PSL. If you observe the, the COVID-19 protocols, if you're not observing them, then those people are, it's a happy go merry environment. They have more team spirit than us, but we worry about our players. We look after the health of our players. We don't want to be the first team to break out stories here. So, we, we, and we also respect government protocol and health protocol. At this point in time, normally I run the team, but in COVID-19, I'm no longer the steering. Eh? I take a back seat. It's the doctor. The doctor is the steering. He tells us everything. When do we train? How do we train? At one stage, I tried to, the beginnings, you know, when we have those four uh, groups of fours and equidistant and uh, you, can't, you can't be together, give steps on the pitch, coach, please. I don't want 
this guy closer to this guy. And please keep the space. Keep. I said, I said, how am I gonna mark if I want to show him that if the guy is marking you, you do this. He says, yeah, do it uh, with the distance. Look, it's not for me only. I guess it's happening to everybody unless we don't observe the the COVID-19 protocols and uh, we just get nervous and uh, uh, and the life the life of the bubble. That's another story now. The life inside the bubble, you know. Coach, uh, we are we are sharing uh, teams, uh, confidence, trust with other teams, testing when, what, the results. Uh, you know, uh, uh, do we have enough uh, coach, space to? Are we, coach, are we open with our results, or are we not open? You know, those are the things.